En este video te voy a enseñar 70 verbos irregulares en inglés que tienes que saber sí o sí si quieres ser fluido en inglés. Y para que sea un poquito más comprensible, voy a decir el verbo y te voy a dar tres oraciones de ejemplos en los tres tiempos verbales más comunes. Espero que estés emocionado. Yo soy Kale Anders, tu coach de inglés y tu sueco favorito. Empecemos. B. I am a student. I was a student. I have been a student. Have. I have a car. I had a car. I have had a car. Hey, dentro de estos 70 verbos hay un verbo que solo los estudiantes de rayo van a reconocer. Entonces, quiero que traten de descubrir cuál es. Una pista es entre los últimos 20 verbos. Adivina los comentarios. Y si estás correcto, te voy a responder y voy a destacar tu comentario. Let's go. Do. I do my homework every day. I did my homework yesterday. I have done my homework. Go. I go to school every day. I went to school yesterday. I have gone to school. Take. I take the bus to work. I took the bus to work yesterday. I have taken the bus to work. Come. I come from America. I came from America. I have come from America. Hey, quiero saber cuántos verbos ya sabías. Déjame saber en los comentarios abajo y hacemos una competencia. Let's go. See. I see my friends every day. I saw my friends yesterday. I have seen my friends. No. I know the answer. I knew the answer. I have known the answer. Get. I get up early. I got up early. I have gotten up early. Make. I make breakfast. I made breakfast. I have made breakfast. Put. I put my keys on the table. I put my keys on the table. I have put my keys on the table. Run. I run every morning. I ran yesterday morning. I have run every morning. Hey, una cosa rápida. Si estás pensando ahora, Kale, me gusta mucho esta clase, pero siempre se me olvida todo lo que estudio. Mañana no me voy a acordar de ninguno de estos verbos. Entonces, quédate hasta el final del video porque te voy a revelar un truco súper bueno que todos los que hablan muchos idiomas usan para dejar de olvidar, dejar de traducir en la mente y empezar a pensar en inglés. Entonces, voy a revelar ese truco al final del video. Así que, quédate pendiente. Say, I say hello to my friends. I said hello to my friends. I have said hello to my friends. Eat. I eat breakfast every day. I ate breakfast yesterday. I have eaten breakfast. Give. I give my friend a gift. I gave my friend a gift. I have given my friend a gift. Tell. I tell my parents about my day. I told my parents about my day. I have told my parents about my day. Become. I become a teacher. I became a teacher. I have become a teacher. Find. I find my keys every day. I found my keys yesterday. I have found my keys. Think. I think about my future. I thought about my future. I have thought about my future. Bring. I bring my lunch to work. I brought my lunch to work. I have brought my lunch to work. Hold. I hold my baby every day. I held my baby yesterday. I have held my baby. Hear. I hear the birds singing. I heard the birds singing. I have heard the birds singing. Feel. I feel happy today. I felt happy yesterday. I have felt happy. Drive. I drive my car to work. I drove my car to work. I have driven my car to work. Speak. I speak English fluently. 
I spoke English fluently. I have spoken English fluently. Write. I write a letter to my friend. I wrote a letter to my friend. I have written a letter to my friend. Teach. I teach students online. I taught students online. I have taught students online. Sell. I sell books at a store. I sold books at a store. I have sold books at a store. Catch. I catch a ball. I caught a ball. I have caught a ball. Draw. I draw a picture. I drew a picture. I have drawn a picture. Choose. I choose my outfit for the day. I chose my outfit for the day. I have chosen my outfit for the day. Read. I read a book every night. I read a book last night. I have read a book. Break. I break a vase by accident. I broke a vase by accident. I have broken a vase by accident. Drink. I drink water every day. I drank water yesterday. I have drunk water. Leave. I leave for work at 8 a.m. I left for work at 8 a.m. I have left for work. Keep. I keep my room clean. I kept my room clean. I have kept my room clean. Sleep. I sleep for eight hours every night. I slept for eight hours last night. I have slept for eight hours. Hey, ¿cómo vas? Ahora te falta menos de la mitad de los verbos, así que no te rindas. Sigue adelante y casi llegamos. Wake. I wake up early every morning. I woke up early yesterday morning. I have woken up early. Mean. I mean what I say. I meant what I said. I have meant what I said. Fall. I fall asleep quickly. I fell asleep quickly. I have fallen asleep quickly. Sing. I sing a song every day. I sang a song yesterday. I have sung a song. Sit. I sit at my desk all day. I sat at my desk all day. I have sat on my desk all day. Build. I build a house for my family. I built a house for my family. I have built a house for my family. Stand. I stand up for what I believe in. I stood up for what I believed in. I have stood up for what I believe in. Buy. I buy groceries every week. I bought groceries last week. I have bought groceries. Send. I send a text to my friend. I sent a text to my friend. I have sent a text to my friend. Pay. I pay my bills on time. I paid my bills on time. I have paid my bills on time. Meet. I meet my friend for lunch. I met my friend for lunch. I have met my friend for lunch. Begin. I begin my day with a coffee. I began my day with a coffee. I have begun my day with a coffee. Fly. I fly to my vacation destination. I flew to my vacation destination. I have flown to my vacation destination. Hey, buenísimo trabajo. Ya te faltan solamente 20 verbos. Y recuerda que el verbo secreto que solo los estudiantes de Rayo está entre estos verbos. No olvides adivinar en los comentarios. Lose. I lose my keys frequently. I lost my keys yesterday. I have lost my keys. 
lend. I lend my friend money. I lent my friend money. I have lent my friend money. Forget. I forget things easily. I forgot things easily. I have forgotten things easily. Wear. I wear a shirt and pants. I wore a shirt and pants. I have worn a shirt and pants. Lay. I lay my jacket on the chair. I laid my jacket on the chair. I have laid my jacket on the chair. Strive. I strive to do my best every day. I strove to do my best yesterday. I have striven to do my best. Light. I light the candles. I lit the candles. I have lit the candles. Bite. I bite into the apple. I bit into the apple. I have bitten into the apple. Fight. I fight for what's right. I fought for what was right. I have fought for what was right. Hide. I hide from the rain. I hid from the rain. I have hidden from the rain. Hey, faltan solo 10 verbos. Vamos! Ya casi. Ride. I ride my bike to the park. I rode my bike to the park. I have ridden my bike to the park. Slay. I slay dragons. I slew dragons. I have slain dragons. Tear. I tear paper. I tore paper. I have torn paper. Kneel. I kneel to pray. I knelt to pray. I have knelt to pray. Leap. I leap over the hurdle. I leapt over the hurdle. I have leapt over the hurdle. Weep. I weep with joy. I wept with joy. I have wept with joy. Blow. I blow out the candles. I blew out the candles. I have blown out the candles. Sweep. I sweep the floor. I swept the floor. I have swept the floor. Bear. I bear the risk. I bore the risk. I have borne the risk. Swim. I swim in the ocean every day. I swam in the ocean yesterday. I have swum in the ocean. Buenísimo, ya has pasado por los 70 verbos, pero hay un gran problema todavía. Acabas de consumir 210 oraciones. Oraciones súper importantes para poder lograr una fluidez en inglés. Pero mañana vas a haberte olvidado de la gran mayoría de todas ellas. Y la razón es porque nuestro cerebro, nuestra memoria, necesita muchas exposiciones a las mismas estructuras, al mismo vocabulario, a las mismas oraciones para que se quemen a la memoria a largo plazo. Entonces, si quieres dejar de olvidar, dejar de traducir en tu mente y empezar a pensar en inglés, te recomiendo que empieces a usar repetición espaciada. Esta es una técnica que todos que hablan muchos idiomas usan justamente para dejar de olvidar, dejar de traducir y empezar a pensar en el idioma. ¿Cómo funciona es muy sencillo. Metes todas esas frases en una aplicación de repetición espaciada y cada día la aplicación te libera 20 nuevas frases, por ejemplo. Y dependiendo de qué tan bueno reconoces las frases cuando las repasas, te hace repasar más las frases más difíciles y menos las más fáciles. Y así aprendes muchísimo más eficientemente. Y por supuesto, repetición espaciada es una de las técnicas principales en mi curso de inglés. Entonces te quiero recordar que tenemos dos semanas de prueba. Compra el curso ahora, pruébalo por dos semanas. Si no te gusta por cualquier razón, nos mandas un mensaje y tienes el 100% de tu dinero devuelto para que puedas tomar una decisión informada. Pruebas todo el curso primero y luego tomas la decisión. El enlace con toda la información del curso he puesto aquí en la descripción del video para que lo puedas revisar. Ahí también tienes testimonios, resultados, garantías, todo lo que está incluido, toda la información, el enlace aquí abajo. Espero que te haya gustado el video. Cuídate mucho y nos vemos en el siguiente.